Yo, it's Sean Show here, back with another video, and today I'm about to tell you how to get a house with a CPN and how to get all free furniture so you can furnish it all out. Let's get it. Made a hundred K for a CPU. Can't imagine myself without you. If I ain't had loud, I don't know what I'll do. Nigga be grabbing this shit ain't cool. Come to my house, we can fuck with my pool. Nigga, bring my house, I'ma put them on the news. I was real young, I was trapping in school. Nigga, we can shoot it out, nigga, we can have it. Yo, what's up? It's the Sauce Go. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like all of that. And we'll do a giveaway too for a free spot in my Telegram group for everyone who comments Sauce. Just comment Sauce and like the video. And I'm going to choose a new person uh, every week. And I'm going to add. Add you to my free tel uh, to my Telegram group, my paid chat for free. I'm about to just go ahead and put y'all on the sauce. I'm about to tell y'all all the sauce because you know what I'm saying. I was in the same position where I was like, damn, I'm trying to get into a house. Yeah, you know, people get apartments, people get all types of stuff like that, but I was trying to get a house. So I was like, all right, I got all the money, I got the bread, but you feel me? I gotta get the credit, and you know, you were thinking like the pay stuff, all the different type of things that's stopping you from getting into a spot. I can help you. I'm about to tell you how that'll never stop you no more. This thing, this is what you got to do. First off, uh, I want to say, uh, join my Telegram group, my, my free Telegram group. Um, I got a lot of info, little free sauce in there. And I also got a paycheck where you can join it. And we got uh, methods on how you can cash out with iPhones, with the CPN, and other different things that you can do to, to uh, other methods, you know what I'm saying, that you can use to make money. But today, like I said, I'm about to tell y'all how to get into a house off of CPM. All right, so when trying to get approved for a house, it could be a daunting task because you may not know if you're going to get approved or if your credit is right and all that. Messing with me, you can have 100% confidence that you'll get into any place um, like this, like this one that I got into with this, my CPM. You know what I'm saying? So basically, as long as you got the down payment, I'm going to make sure that you get approved for that house and that you're the most qualified applicant. And I'm about to tell you and give you the sauce right now. So basically, this is what you got to do. If your credit isn't a 700 plus, then what you can do is you can get a CPM. And what you can do is just if you make a same name CPM. If you want to learn how to make the same name CPM, I got my CPM creation course for 100 that will teach you everything. Uh, another thing, too, you can join my paid chat. It's $50 a month where we got all of us in there that just giving each other tips and stuff like that. So you can make a same name CPM that matches your name. And um, and there's a method that if you want to do it, you don't want to make sure that you want to make sure the address that you put on the CPM not associated with any address that you've ever lived at so your credit profile is going to live. And basically what you got to do is you use that same name and put at least one trade line on it. That should boost it to like a 700 plus credit score. You know what I'm saying? If if it's a good one, at least like 5k plus. But if it's, if it's only 2 or 3k, maybe get two of them. And by the way, if you need trade lines, I got trade lines for good, good cheap prices. I got a $100 trade line right now for like 5 uh, It's like a 5k limit. And you feel me? So that'll boost you. And I got for 150, I got like a 20k trade line. All type, I got great prices. So just tap into my um, Telegram. I got a free Telegram group where you can join and you can just see all my trade lines that I offer and look people up. I even just put somebody on a 75k trade line. And in the last video, I showed y'all how I had that 42k trade line. That was the same CPN that I used to get into this house. So look, you you make yourself the same name CPN. And once you make yourself the same name CPN, you add a couple trade lines, one or two, to make sure you're at least up, up, up 700 plus. Because all they really look at when they're trying to get approved for a house is they look at the credit score. They're not looking at the, at the accounts to see, like, is it even your personal account or if it's just the AU trade line that you're piggybacking off of. They don't care. They just want to see that credit score. So another thing is uh, you got to go to some CPN-friendly places. So one CPN-friendly place that you can apply from is Zillow. I know Zillow is CPN friendly for sure, and I'll also put a list of uh, other sites that are that are CPN friendly that you can go apply to right here. So you can go apply, and um, I also got this is just a small list. I also got a full list of like 10, 20 different websites that are all CPN friendly websites that you can apply for in my pick in my uh, Telegram chat, my free chat. So you can just join in the link in the bio, and you'll see in the pin I have a whole list of all the sites that are CPN friendly, and I got the full like Airbnb method typed all out so how you can get houses and apartments off of airbnb and furnish them with the cpa and so it's just got everything pretty much typed out but yeah so this is what you have to do you have to get your credit score looking right and at least get one or two trade lines so get your real real credit score your cpa get one or two trade lines and boost it to really 750 i said 700 plus but you want to be like the most um like qualified applicant so for you to be the most qualified applicant, boost your stuff to like 750, 800. I have like almost close to an 800 credit score. It's just because, you know, it's, it's not for me to add trade lines anyway. So I can forward and then run. But this thing, you really only need like two. Definitely should put you over 750 plus, 770. You're good. Go apply on, on Zillow and just go online and pay the $30 application. They're going to run the application. 
application. And, and like I said, once they do it once, you can just use that same application for all the different houses that you want to apply for on Zillow. And then once the um, the, the owner or the landlord gets, gets your application, they're going to see your credit score, and then they're just going to do a like um, evictions check to see if you've had any evictions in the past, stuff like that. So long, and so that's why too is where a CPN can come in handy if you've ever had evictions or something on your record. You you can use a CP or also too um, if you've ever if you've been incarcerated, been locked up, had felonies on your record. This, this is why um, a lot of people they'll use CPs as well. So there's multiple reasons, but yeah, so to get you in in the house that you want. So you make sure you're the most qualified applicant, 770 credit or 780 credit score. Then they're going to see that and they're going to see no evictions when you run the CP. Now just make sure it's the same name CP too so you can use your real ID. And so boom, they're going to, they, I think they do ask you on Zillow to take a, no actually I don't think they ask you to take a picture of your ID, but you can probably submit those documents. But another thing they'll ask you to submit is some pay stubs on the Zillow application. So if you don't, if you haven't really worked a job or you don't have your own pay stubs, you can get some pay stubs made. So you know what I'm saying? Also tap into my uh, my paid chat. You know what I'm saying? We got some doc creators, A1 doc makers, stuff like that. So if you need pay stubs, you can get them made. And basically, that's what you gotta do. You know what I'm saying? Put how and then you're supposed to be making at least 2.5 times the rent. So you know what I'm saying? Just make sure all that's squared on on the on the pay stubs and stuff like that. Then boom. Now another thing is they're gonna maybe ask for your rental app, your uh, rental history. Tell them that you've lived somewhere for two years and that you have been paying rent on time, like close to with the same amount that you want to get in. So if it's nineteen hundred, you tell them that you know you've been paying nineteen hundred or eighteen fifty, maybe you can say a little lower for the past two years. You know what I'm saying? Now and and say maybe it's an apartment, or whatever. Now what you can also do is you can just use your mom or someone that you know his number. Just give them that number and say, Yep, I've been staying here. This is my landlord. Um, and, and, and if your mom has the same last name or something, maybe just use a friend or something like that and have her answer or, or a guy, whoever. Just say, that was my landlord. Or it doesn't even have to be the landlord of the owner of the house because you can look that information up online. It could be, this is a property manager. Here's the property manager's number. You can you can call her. She'll verify I've been paying rent on time. I was a great um, renter, all of that. So, boom, that's all you got to do is have a friend say, yep, you know, he's been staying here for two years paying rent on time, all that, they might call. Boom, they call that, they verify, so you put that, you've been staying at that, that place. Then, once you put down the application that you've been staying for two years, that's gonna look really good. Then like I said, it just comes down to the pace that as long as you make 2.5 times or three times, whatever, the amount of rent, and your credit score is good, there's no evictions. Now, another thing is they may go ahead and call up the job, uh, your job owner, or basically a manager. Is who they want to talk to. So you tell them, all right, yep, here's my manager, here's my my job manager, or uh, my project manager, you know, whatever. You know what I'm saying? So basically, you could whatever company you say you work for, but they can have the corporate number, cool. But just tell them, look, here's my manager's number, or here's my manager's email, so you can actually list my my regional manager, who's the manager of my region, who's basically the boss of me, who I report to, and you give them a number of a person you know, a friend, or whatever. And you know what I'm saying? That person just answer it and make sure that they say, you know, yeah, I've been working with this person for, you know, a year, however long you put. And, you know, they've been working, they've been doing everything good. And, you know what I'm saying? They, they've been doing a great job. So, boom, once they verify, they may call too. So, if they do call, you can also put down a, a like a number. So, it's just a couple different things they may or may not verify. You know what I'm saying? But you put that on the application for sure. So, give them a, a friend's name and number as your reference. And, and, and even some co-workers or whatever, if they say some references, co-workers, uh, friends, you know what I'm saying, that can just answer and vouch for you, verify for you. Obviously, you don't give no number to somebody who ain't going to say no, no good shit, you know what I'm saying, about you. Like, make sure you give them numbers to everyone that you know and trust. Talk to them, too. Like, hey, I got this person who's going to call you. You know, can you say this for me? If they're not going to say some shit for you, don't even give it to them. Go find somebody. So, yeah, that's it. Just get a couple of references. And, and like a rental verification person to have a, and, a, and a job verification person to answer the phone when they call. And you get all the documents, like I said, with the pay stubs. You got your credit score of 770. You got um, you got no evictions. You're using the CP. You know what I'm saying? That's all they really look at. Like I said, your pay stubs, your rental history, and boom. With all that, you're going to be the most qualified applicant. 
Once they see all that, you're good to go. And like I said, they may not even call to verify a lot of different things. Just keep playing. And also let them know, too, that you're ready to move in, your money ready. So, yeah, as long as you, if you got the money, your down payment, you will need to have the deposit. But as long as you got the down payment or deposit, I can get you into any place that you want to get into. Like, it don't even matter. You know what I'm saying? If, if you think you can't get into that house because it's too big of a house, it's a four-bedroom, they're probably going to want to give it to a family and all this extra shit. No, you can't think like that. You know what I'm saying? You just got to have 100% confidence. And like I said, as long as you got the down payment to move in, I can get you into any house. When they see that 770 credit score, they see the job you've been working, they see everything, the rent verification, they're going to let you, and they see that you're ready to move in now. That's another thing that you tell them, I got the money now, got the down payment now, I'm ready to move in, let's get this going. You know, hit them up and be proactive on it. So that's how you get into a brand new house with the CPN. But another thing is what I'm about to tell y'all is how you can get all brand new furniture with that same CPN. You know what I'm saying? $2,500 worth of store credit for you to get all furniture. Because that's what I did. I got all this free. All this furniture free pretty much. Because, you know what I'm saying? So look, you know what I'm saying? All this. Got this couch. You know what I'm saying? A table. So I'm going to put y'all on right now. I got this from Big Lots. I got this one from Big Lots. Um, this this other little ottoman, this big ottoman back here from Big Lots. You know what I'm saying? Then I got the lights and shit from Home Depot. So I'm gonna put y'all on. What y'all gotta do is use that same CPN, take your ID, and go to go to these stores and go apply for in-store credit card. So I'm gonna give you the, the and I'm gonna do more of a video breaking down each one and just how much you can get for each one and how to apply. But yeah. So what I did is I went ahead and got my same name CPN, went to Home Depot, and it was at like a 750 plus credit score, close to 800. I also got some phones off of that too, but that's nothing, you feel me? And if you want to learn how to cash out off phones, join my page chat. I got a lot of different methods in there, like the same day iPhone method. But yeah, within two days, I got $2,500 worth of store credit that I can furnish, and I went and furnished this whole thing. Let me tell you where I went. I went to Home Depot first. I was one of the first ones. I got a thousand, I got approved for a thousand dollars, Home Depot. You know what I'm saying? And you just go in there, you apply, you put in all your CPN info, um, and put your CPN phone number or whatever, you know, boom, you just put all that info and, and they're going to uh, approve you right there or not approve you. And I got approved right then and there for a thousand dollars. And they're going to give you some, a thousand dollars store credit. They're going to give you some paper, which you can go ahead and use that day. You just have them scan the paper. So you don't even need to wait for the card to come in the mail and all that. So what I, what I went ahead and did with that thousand, I bought a whole brand new washer and dryer, brand new. You feel me? Just cut, use that, that whole thing for that because it was like 500 pretty much around, around there for each one. So I just went ahead and used that, got a whole brand new washer and dryer. So boom, that, that took care of that. I didn't need to have it. I didn't need it because there was no washer and dryer. Plus, I wanted a brand new one too. I don't want no used. Nothing in my house is used. That's another thing. I, I hate used anything. I just can't do it. So boom. I had to make sure I got everything brand new, you know what I'm saying? So I got a brand new washer and dryer. Then I went ahead and got approved for $750 from Big Lots. Went in the store and once again put the CP info, got $750 store credit card from, from Big Lots. And Big Lots has furniture as well. So that's why I got this ottoman right here, this big ottoman. You know what I'm saying? I got uh, this little smaller ottoman as well. And this chair was actually from Walmart, so I'm going to give y'all that. But I also got... Y'all can't really see behind, but I, I, I'll post a little video right here that'll show like uh, a little bit of my tour. I did another video where I showed the tour of the house. But yeah, basically I went ahead and got 750 of uh, uh, credit, store credit at Big Lots and buy hella furniture. You feel me? I got this um, TV stand that's like a fireplace. And what else I got? I got um, just a little office desk for my room and I got an office chair. Man, we would have, I, went, I went ham at Big Lots. I bought hella, I bought hella different stuff. Oh, this coffee table, like I said. So boom, then I went and got 500. I went and got approved for 500 from um, Walmart. So you go walk into Walmart. You me, this is all within two days. Like I think I went to like Walmart and Home Depot one day and the next day to Big Lots. You feel me? And just went and just cashed out. You know what I'm saying? And so boom, then I went to Walmart, got approved for a little 500 dollar credit card, and bought me a, a king size hybrid mattress with the bed frame. So boom, you feel me? I went ahead and got the bed, got a desk in there, got an office chair in there, and I already had some other furniture for my dressers and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Actually, I'll go ahead and show you. But yeah, so as a matter of fact, y'all can see right here.
I got the uh, TV stand, you know what I'm saying? All of that. Let's get to that. You feel me? And then let me show you how this washer and dryer is just sick. Yeah, brand new washer and dryer. You feel me? Let's get to that. And then I'll just show y'all real quick the bed that I got. So boom, you know what I'm saying? Got a brand new king size mattress with the bed frame. You feel me? And I went ahead and like I said, got this uh, desk. And this is from Big Lots and, and this is from Big Lots as well. And it's so like I said, but this bed, this hybrid mattress was from um, Walmart. You feel me? The bed frame from Walmart, stuff like that. And so boom, then um, what else did I get from Walmart? I think that's pretty much around it. But yeah, like I'm telling you, man, $2,500 I got all in store credit and I pretty much furnished my whole house off of that. You feel me? Got a brand new washer and dryer, all of that. So it really came in handy. You know what I'm saying? It really helped because I needed, I needed a new washer and dryer. I needed all this type of stuff. So the credit comes in handy. Now, you know, I could pay it back. You know what I'm saying? Or this is another thing too. Like once they charge off your accounts and they, they write it off, you really don't never need to pay it back because now they sold your account to another company that you never even did business with. So, you know what I'm saying? It just depends on how you want to go about it. But basically, just tap in for more sauce. That's about it. You know what I'm saying? That's how you get into a brand new house with the CPN and get it all furnished with that same CPN. And like I said, if you want to learn more methods on, you know, just how to cash out with CPNs, if you need the money to get the down payment, okay, tap in. I can, you know, get you started. We have the same day iPhone method where you can get approved for two phones. I ain't even going to talk too much. With the, with the CPN that you built the same day type stuff. And if you want to learn how to make CPNs yourself, I got the CPN creation course and you can buy that at my site and it's linked down below where you can learn how to make the CPNs yourself so you can make your same name CPN and you can do exactly what I'm talking about. So like I said, that's it. Tap in um, to my paid chat too and my, my free chat. Just join the free chat to get more methods and more links about how to, uh, to do the Airbnb CPN method and how you can... Um, have, and where you can get find the CPN friendly site so you can apply. All right.